today has definitely got not gone to plan at all. It is still pissing with rain. In the last video, I hinted at an exciting upcoming adventure, but it doesn't always work out. And my hard drive won't register. And I've lost three unposted videos and a whole year's worth of footage. Not every day is glamorous. Sometimes it just sucks. My name is Flossy and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van, which I've converted to my beautiful tiny home on wheels. I don't know what you want from me, but I know what I want from myself. To be free of all self-doubt and able to speak my truth. I don't know what you need from me, but I know what I need from myself. A clear conscience, a light heart, and a sense of wholeness. I don't know what you like in me, but I know what I like in myself. My little eccentricities and my big sensitive soul. I don't know what you hate in me, but I know what I hate in myself. The way I compromise my standards and sometimes let myself down. I don't know what you see in me, but I know what I see in myself. A beautiful creature full of hope able to reach for the stars. I don't know what you will hide from in me, but I know what I hide from in myself. The way my heart aches when I see injustice and the feeling of inadequacy around. I don't know what you love in me, but I know what I love in myself. The way I care, oh I truly care, and how I treat you and the world. And now, time to get on the computer and do some editing. Oh, it's not quite cold enough to light the fire yet, but I will. Just lit the fire, and then boil some hot water. This little tea bag says, talking to plants is one way of talking directly to spirit, which I think is beautiful. And then I'm going to cook some dinner, probably on top of here or I'll click here, but I've been enjoying a really delicious sharing hymns, rhubarb gin and elderflower liqueur cocktail with some salad and San Pellegrino, both of these are Vancouver Island distilleries. Dinner is on. I have a patty, some Brussels sprouts and some rice in here. All cooking over my lovely fire. It is going to be a tasty dinner tonight. I'm just enjoying a lovely relaxed evening. I was supposed to be doing a whole bunch of editing tonight, but my hard drive has decided to malfunction. Hopefully it is just because I've ejected it or haven't ejected it properly too many times, but I'm enjoying my cocktail, relaxing and actually having a night off and not working. Which is probably a lesson from the universe to actually relax for a little bit. So sometimes unfortunate hard drive malfunctions result in a more restful evening. So dinner will be ready soon, which will be really lovely. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying being by the ocean and the tide is really, really out right now. So as it comes back in again, I'm going to be lulled to sleep by the sound of the sea. And the raindrops on my roof, which was just so nice. 
I have been missing the ocean and so coming to the ocean today felt like a really important little jaunt. Nobody is outside having campfires. I was hoping to have one, but it is way too wet. Welcome to post snow winter. The end of summer, I made a lot of jars of apricot chutney and oh my gosh, is this stuff delicious. Now it goes perfectly with this dinner dish and I added a bit of rice. <gasps> yum. Yum, yum, yum. Not every day is glamorous. Today is very rainy and wet and the views I had of the Olympic Mountains coming in here are very clouded and disappeared into the rain. But it's breakfast time. I am reheating some of yesterday's food and then gonna add some eggs that I got on the way here from a local farm stand, which is pretty neat. I was hoping to come for a lovely restful evening and day and sunset and time at the beach and it is just raining, rain, 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 which is not typical, not untypical for this time of year. Part of me was very tempted to get in the ocean and go for a dip. Maybe I'll still do that. It's going to take some gumption. The tide has come in and gone out again, and it gets really low here. Um, they've had some extra high tides here, so I was wondering if that would happen, but it did not. I'm assuming that when they expect king tides that they would clear this campsite. So anyway, breakfast time. Today has definitely got not gone to plan at all. It is still pissing with rain. You can't see any of the views that I came here for. There's quite a number of campers at this campsite um, and I really wanted to be able to hang out by the ocean instead of just been laying in bed resting, which is good. The other thing that happened is my hard drive failed. And so I was planning on spending yesterday evening editing. So I had a video out today and my hard drive won't register. I don't know if it's one of those things where if you eject it, pull it out without ejecting it too many times, it just goes Ugh! or if I've dropped it. So I'm gonna go and see if I can get it fixed at a beloved's house or put it in the freezer. Somebody suggested putting it in a freezer in a Ziploc bag to make the connections work again. I don't know. However, it has three videos on it that I have not finished editing yet and haven't published so I have some urgency about getting that footage back. I have this content which I could post tomorrow if I really scramble. So it's a little stressful but before I leave what I am going to do is do a tarot reading. On my website I have tarot readings available and I like to share this with folks. It's not fortune telling it is extra thought prompts or some sort of external direction 
that you can go, oh, I never thought of that. Just a new way of looking at a current situation. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you later when I decide what I'm gonna do next. like the base of a kelp where it would have anchored to a rock. Mm. Oh, it feels so good. Slimy and soft and slippery and leathery. Salty, rainy, and wet, but I'm having a great time. I love being by the ocean, just the smell of it is beautiful. The sound last night with the rain mixed with the waves, just beautiful. And it got really quiet because the tide went way out. <sighs> Clouds meet literally the top of the trees, and the trees are just tickling the top of the misty and it's beautiful. It was the rest that I needed despite wanting to do a ton of editing and not getting to it. I think it was, I think it was good for me. So thanks for coming with me here. It's gorgeous. Wish me luck as I spend a couple hundred dollars that I don't have and a thousand dollars more on recovering all of that footage so that hopefully in the weeks to come I can get you the videos that I promised and recover all my archive. Thank you so much to the generosity of my Patreon supporters who have supported me and keep making things like this and at unexpected costs manageable day to day. I don't know how I would do this without you. I am very, very grateful for this community and all of you who come here every week to watch my videos. just sound like home 
remind me so much of New Zealand, that crashing and roaring sound really does something to me on the inside, even if it's pouring rain, I mean drizzling. <sighs> they call it the rainforest. They don't call it the rainforest for nothing. Right. Time to keep going. Oh, finally today. The sun is out a little bit more. I am so excited for the brightness. I have just tallied up all of the entrants to win Octo Hat, not this one. This one, this is going to be yours. And I have about 61 entries so far. I'm so excited. This is going to be yours. I have decided to give away the blue one as intended instead of the yellow one. It's going to be a slightly drunk little cephalopod, but I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'm really excited to get it to you. And I will do that draw via a random generator um, from the spreadsheet of usernames from Instagram, my mailing list and YouTube comments. So excited. And I won't do another one of these until winter next year. So every winter I do one draw, I make one of these gorgeous creatures and give it away. And hopefully it brings lots of joy and brightness and companionship to you as it did to me when I went through my breakup. And you know, it's a little heart mender and I hope it continues to be for the people who are slowly getting these. There's now two of you, this one to go to a future one and somebody from last year who have them. And I'm excited to continue this tradition. It's a little my channel tradition. And now I've come across a little stream which I have to ford.
Life lost in the woods, on the dust, and the fairies found me. And they led the way, they cleared the way to my heart. All the hurt, all the pain under the skin. Clear the way to my heart Thank you to magic For rescuing me Thank you to summer For fairy Stoked the fire before I went out. Time for some more wood. <sighs> I've got such cold hands. fingers. Like fire and ice in the winter is just a perfect combination. It feels really nice to be warm and the sound of the fire in your ears is just magical. Uh, I love it a lot. This dear wee Octo hat, isn't he just freaking cute? Just adorable. So I will post it to whoever wins so make sure if you are um, on YouTube you check your notifications so that you can see that I have replied to your comment telling you that you have won and then you will need to send me an email with your postal address. And I hope this hat brings you as much joy as it has brought me to make it. <sighs> if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up and hit the subscription bell down below. I have noticed a large number of you who are new here, so feel free to go back and check out some of the playlists of how I built this step fan from scratch, uh, from demolition to bare bones to putting the windows in because there was no windows in when I bought it, all the way through, or even the videos when I had my little Chevy 77 high top van before this one. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being here. If you are one of my Patreons, I have special videos coming for you soon. I deeply appreciate you all very much. You should all be receiving your postcards and letters in the mail very soon. If you have added a postal address, you all mean a lot to me. So I appreciate your comments, the chats we have in our um, community tab. It's just a wonderful community. Thank you all so much for being here. I read all of your comments all the time. I love you all. Time for me to go to bed. Good night. <sighs>